Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about this energy. It is a lot having to do with leaving things behind and being left behind. So abandonment. But is it you who should abandon things or have you been abandoned? It's a little bit of both. So please be aware that in this energy, emotions will come up for you. You could be nervous. You could feel a sense of disappointment from somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in time. And you're not quite sure, well, what does that mean? What does that mean for my life? Well, first of all, it's coming up so that you can notice it. Secondly, it's there for you to take action on. What are you disappointed about in your life or what has happened or what has not been happening in your life that is making you feel disappointed? Did you want a response from something? Were you waiting to hear back on a job, a job offer, a house contract, or even someone who told you that they would reach out or, or even someone that you assumed? You're assuming is maybe the one or your twin flame and you never hear anything, never. You never get a response and you can feel your energy going wah, wah. Okay, I don't wish that for you. There are changes in the works that are happening through the larger energies to help make this better for you, to help you recognize what you're feeling and help use it to help you push off and grab onto what you really want. It doesn't mean you need to seize the day and reach out to that bad person who 100% of the time is the wrong person, okay, the wrong person. And other things that have to do with this energy is, it's kind of like that expression, fish or cut bait, okay? You got to know when to like cut the wire. And that can also mean cutting cords, which I help people with. When do you smudge your house? When do, how, do you know how to smudge your house and clear the energy? So just in the past few weeks, I have had uh, some really great positive changes happen for people. Someone who is the cousin of a good friend of mine, she actually just got the call for her subsidized apartment in the Chicago area, paying only $230 a month. Can you believe it? And it's a full one bedroom. It is not a little hovel. It's not in someone's house. It's not like a closet in someone's house. This is in a managed building with, um, you know, like it's got a front gate for security one full bedroom with a kitchen and a large size, you know, combo living room, dining room, first floor, $230. And she had to take the steps to fill out the application. They called and said, could you tweak a couple of things? Because we think we'll have something for you. And boom, happened. Another person got a Ted talk just, meeting someone sort of a chance meeting got to talking and got offered this and that person was a nervous wreck but then boom they didn't even think they could pull it off by the date they were coming up to the deadline so they reached out to back off and the other person said let's turn this into where we interview you will that help and boom it happened some other people have been really um, finding out like they were a little sick. They found out they don't have COVID. They're getting better. I mean, some really good positive things have been happening for people. Another person I know got an internship in another country and it's all just being pulled together. So you have this um, way, I would say like there's two currents there's one here that's dragging real slow because people are not some okay i don't mean to find fault with people but sometimes people don't know what to do but they stagnate okay they're getting stagnant and this here's how you know not only do you feel the stagnation and you feel inertia but the same old things you're doing they're not bringing any results 
and you're asking your pendulum and you're asking for a card poll and you're this and that and you're not getting specifics and you still you feel even more confused than before that's when you know you have to back off especially around full moon energy everyone's wishes are like in the atmosphere every hope and dream that people want for that season or that month or you know it's the same thing for years it's floating out there get away get away get away and sometimes that means literally put some distance between you and the collective because the collective is going to have many toxic things come up because it needs dressing it's time it's time and some people have been dilly dallying on it some people are just finding out about it am i losing you well i shouldn't because what i have to say about this is this okay you're here for something very real. You're here for the integration of a brand new light body that enables you to be healthy because it's not intended to hold illness or ancestral disease. It's not intended to hold and store up low emotion like your old body did, which is why people feel sick or why we know that if people worry too much, they develop an ulcer in their stomach. Your new light body isn't going to do that. It's not going to let you accumulate, store up, hold these grudges and resentments, etc. Your new light body is intended for you to be intuitive and beyond psychic because let's face it, some psychics just don't cut it and some psychics are manipulators. And that's what I like to do is help people learn their own intuitions, really develop that quick lover's intuition where it's like a flash. It's like a lightning speed, flashes of insight, light bulb moments, aha moments, and lover's intuition where you feel each other. And it's not just this fleeting thing. It's like the communique goes on and it's not chatter, okay? This is chatter. Now I'm going to the store. Now I'm in the car. Now I'm singing to myself. Now I'm going to go through the drive through Now I'm getting a coffee. Now I'm drinking the coffee. That is not communicating with your twin. Okay, that is not. That is like chatter that becomes static. <sighs> Help them tune into the right heart channel, which is your heart, by learning my unique modality in ways to do so. Okay, learn how to swap out your old light body and integrate your new light body so you can see feel and experience the differences, the really positive, up-leveling, mind-blowing differences. You have the opportunity here to jump on this with this season change because the season change is like a catapult. It helps you like fling forward. And that is not just like, it's like getting on something that accelerates your ascension trajectory. Um, you don't need to, you know, be, be someone who needs all these like things. Okay. Like when I say things, I'm talking about things like, um, runes, cards, you, you can still enjoy cards. I know people are like, well, what do you mean? What I'm saying is that those are tools from the fourth dimension. If you're a fifth dimensional being, you should be using your light body. You should be using your new light body and focusing on the integration of your light body, the redeveloping of your skills, your intuition, and your health. Okay, so while this is um, something that is very new, I've already been doing this with people. I give you time frames, I give you instructions, I teach you, which empowers you and you feel and you have high level experiences. So if you've been feeling, you know, kind of like not getting it, uh, you're impatient, you're thinking this is taking too long. Here, let me tell you this, or ask you rather, have you been holding the torch for someone and you really, it's been a long time. And for some reason you thought that holding space means that you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. That's not really what it is. Space is clearing out the old stuff from your body so that you're integrating 
not only your new light body, but the love that belongs in you back to you so that you're taking it from this soulmate who took it and that soulmate who took it and that soulmate, anyone from the collective, all your Kundalini rushes are up at your heart where they need to be. You're running the energies up your spine and anywhere that you can. And they teach you this through your modality because the real connections are up here. They're not down to earth anymore. Okay. If you're, it's not that you can't be down to earth person, but they're not, you're, you're like, you already got yanked up with your initial activation. So if you need some twin flame coaching, please check out my website or look at the links below. And I hope to hear from you and I hope to um, guide you so that you really see how this can be accomplished for you because we're in an accelerated time right now. Men especially are in an acceleration that's going to make their head spin. And if you love a man, help the man. Okay, help your man through what I'm teaching you. Thanks so much. Bye now.